In this particular video in our innovation series, I demonstrate to you how to use the Mac Blade. This is video one of two. In video one, I demonstrate the use of the Mac Blade on a mannequin. Use on the mannequin has several advantages for us. In particular, as I'm demonstrating its use on the mannequin, I can pause and I can emphasize several important parts of the technique and relevant anatomy that would be difficult to do in a live demonstration. After we master these fundamentals here, then we'll apply them to a live demonstration in video number two. Thanks for watching and learning with us. Medical Specialists Associates, making medical education more accessible. So here we are to talk about our Mac blade. And before I show you the live demonstration, I want to show you one quick mannequin demonstration to give you more of a background. So recall that our Mac blade here is curved. It has a tongue sweep. And because of that, that means we're going to come in from the side of the mouth. And because it's curved, this tip is going to go in the vollecula. And when it goes in the vollecula, it's going to help lift off the epiglottis. And also recall that with this particular device, unlike the GlideScope, this is going to be a direct visualization device, meaning that when I put this device in, I should be able to look straight down and see the glottic opening and be able to put my endotracheal tube in. So before we take a look here at the mannequin, let's take a look here at what it would look like from the side. So now here recall that what we want to do with our Mac blade is put our tip here in the molecular. So what is this going to look like? Well, what this is going to look like here is that I come in, sweep the tongue out of the way, and I come down here, and here I'll put my tip into the molecular. And once I get my tip here in the vollecula, it's going to hit that hyoepiglottic ligament, and that's going to have the epiglottis come up a little bit off the glottic opening. And then the next move from here, when I'm in, is going to be to lift here up and away in this direction. So when I lift up and away in this direction, it pulls this whole apparatus, the epiglottis, further off the glottic opening. What I don't want to do is I don't want to rock back because if I rock back I close. So again I come in and straight into the molecular and then this move here up and out towards the ceiling to lift the whole apparatus up. So here we are now we're going to take our Mac 3 blade and we're going to put our Mac 3 blade here in the corner of the mouth and we're going to gently sweep the tongue and what I do now is I start to gently advance the Mac 3 blade in. And what I do is, is I come down and I can see a picture right there of the vollecula. So there's the vollecula that I'm looking at straight down. Now obviously the vocal cord openings are below that. So what I want to do now is to continue to advance my Mac 3 blade into the vollecula and then lift up towards the ceiling. So here we are now, we have our Mac blade and we came in on the corner of the mouth, we swept the tongue out of the way, we're following that base of the tongue down and we come into the vollecula. And what are we expecting to see? Well, the first thing that you'll probably end up seeing as we show here are the arytenoids. And so here we are. So we're probably now just with the tip right into the vollecula. And then when we put that tip in the vollecula, we hit the hyoepiglottic ligament it kind of brings the epiglottis up off a little bit and we can see the arytenoids. But what's the next step that's really important right here to get the better view? Well, the next step here is to take our blade and advance it up towards the ceiling on that 45 degree angle. So what happens then when we pull that blade up on that 45 degree angle? What we can see here now are the arytenoids, but now the glottic opening. And so this is the view that you would expect to see with that direct line of sight with the Mac. And then from here, now you can just take your endotracheal tube and just put it straight into the glottic opening. And now I just want to show you the whole movement. So again, side of the mouth, tongue sweep out of the way, I'm into the molecular, and then I come in from the side of the mouth here, and then I put my endotracheal tube in. It's just that quick. I go ahead and I blow my cuff up. I would take my stylet out and now I would attach to the ventilator. Thank you for watching. Please consider sharing your suggestions or comments with us at the email address listed. And please also continue to visit with us at our website and our YouTube channel. To be instantly notified of when we release new content, 
please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you.